What's up guys? Today's episode is turbo stuff. So last episode did the oil cooler. Since then I have built a short runner intake manifold partially and I did a head gasket spacer. I'm sorry I totally forgot to film on both of those so that's my bad but those are pretty easy things to find information about. Uh, you know GTI guys are doing the same thing. Any, any VR6 guys know. Uh, basically Short runner intake manifold uh, because the top, the stock one goes over the top and sticks out by the exhaust side. It's just like really inconvenient for running your intercooler, and there's a lot of heat soak on those uh, stock uh, manifolds, those stock intake manifolds. So I built a short runner, and then I uh, did a head gasket spacer to lower the compression, lowered the compression to nine to one, so it should be good for boost. And then, yeah, boost. So this is a uh, Garrett turbo off of a 6.0 power stroke. Uh, you know, I, I would normally just go with the eBay turbo, but I thought, you know, these are like about a GT37 size. So the it should be like a pretty good turbo. It might have a little bit too big of a hot side, but I know the VR6 does actually like big hot sides. So I think it's going to work pretty good. So yeah, I picked this guy up from a buddy. 150 bucks. It's been remanufactured. There is little to no shaft play. Um, yeah, genuine Garrett boys, which is pretty, pretty hype. So, yeah, budget, budget turbo, 150 bucks off of 60. And these are, these turbos are uh, VGT, but with the VGT unplugged, it just runs like a big turbo. So, you know, I'll still just throw a weight throw my external wastegate on there and yeah make some power so yeah I'm just gonna be going over the uh, I'm just gonna go over the oil feed and the drain and yeah that's it so let's just jump into it guys Alright guys, I'm in the store. I think I'm gonna go with something crazy. I've always wanted to try like one of these golds or maybe the glitter, but I think I'm just gonna go with the straight up gold metallic. I don't know whether to go this one, that one. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Yeah. Got the paint, got some primer, yeah. So I ended up hitting this Ace Gold Metallic Mirror Gold. Waiting for the paint to dry now, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the oil feed. So basically, I got this oil feed. This is just a TO4E kit. I just have a TO4E kit. I'll link it down below. And it came with this oil feed, and this is a 1 8 NPT fitting down here, which is not the correct fitting at all. Uh, but I shoved it in there on accident, and now that's kind of how that is. And on the other side of the oil feed, it's a 4AN line like this guy, swivel. Alright, then for the top of the turbo, this is the oil restrictor that came with the T4, T3 setup. Uh, and it fits right on that guy. I unfortunately used the gasket, so we're kind of just going to crank her down and pray. Luckily, if it does leak, this is a really easy gasket to replace. It's right at the top of your turbo. Super easy to get to. 
Moving over to the bottom of the turbo here, you can see that it's kind of a weird setup. There's actually no threads in this hole, so I ordered a stock 60 power stroke oil. I ordered a stock 60 power stroke stroke oil drain, and it fits in there with an O-ring, and then it comes out at an angle like this, and it, it uses these things, the stock like turbo mount uses these to like push it in. So I mean really I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off right here and I have some AN10 line that I'm using completely incorrectly and I'm just going to uh, cut this off, find a piece of tubing that I can weld on that will fit into this AN line and have it be something like that and then I will weld this piece into here and my dad's going to help with me with that so that I don't crack the cast iron. Alright guys, so this little piece fits nicely into the uh, into the hose and obviously that is an issue so I found another piece of tubing that that can slide into and bam so I'm gonna kind of make something like that just gonna weld that up really quick and then I'll get back to you guys This is what we got for now. There, I took the O-ring out, but that'll go in, and then I'll weld this on, and uh, the the hose will connect to this bottom part. So yeah, my welds aren't that great because I am learning how to TIG, but like they'll do. It'll work. So then I will basically just take this, weld around there, weld it in, and then on the other side I will take a uh, just take another piece of that tubing, weld it onto the side of the oil pan. I'm going to wait till the motor's in the car for that. So yeah, as far as just turbo drain and uh, feed goes, that's going to be it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll try to have another video out soon. Uh, thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, one more thing. This is how the compressor housing turned out. I think it looks really good. I'm totally stoked on it. Garrett, Woo, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this guy. I think it looks awesome. Uh, one thing to note is do not try to use clear coat on this metallic paint. It'll ruin it. It'll make it look like shit. So yeah, don't do that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching so much. See you in the next one. Peace.